and real Loretta Jenkins in all my scintillating glory. Keeping you up to date on all the new fangly things they is out here in the world. And just so we clear, hey, look at me. I am Loretta Jenkins. You better memorize this face cause it's gonna be a lighting up the billboards one of these days. Anybody out there saying that they may fuck they lying. Posing as a famous person ought to be a grounds for murder. I mean, I swear. Well, I'm just about ready to think we ought to pick up this internet side there and go back to the old-fashioned world. I mean, I ain't talking about pissing in pots and dying from plagues and shit. I ain't talking about that. No, 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 not that far back. But wouldn't we happier in a simpler time, y'all? I miss old house on the prairie. Y'all remember when Mary and she went blind? Oh God, why do I let Hollywood put me in such mood swings? Signs are flipping through the four million cable channels the other day. And then I seen this picture show I thought it was about fishing. Is it called catfish? Y'all, that ain't no fishing show. They just two closet queer brothers chasing down underage gals on the internet. They need they ought to be on that uh, Catch a Predator show. Probably just selling to one of their sexual torture hostels from whatever little tiny foreign land they from. <gasps> Don't they kind of look like a Boston bomber? They need to be on the no-fly list. Pronto. The question on everybody's mind ought to be, what is this grown man friending on an eight-year-old girl on lines for? Don't nobody find that weird? They, they, they need to go to that some bitch's hard drives and see what else he got in the dick and I in the way. Nice child bride fucking preverts. Everybody in this story is like the saddest person alive. How they gum depressing is your life gotta be for you to go be pretending you somebody else on the line. Caprice, if, if you was running a Facebook profile, this, this fake. Just kill yourself. Fuck, I don't know what to tell you. If your life is that sad, just... <laughs> I wish that movie had, had a better ending. <laughs> like a Jim Jones story. <laughs> so we could have less dumbasses using up our pre precious resources. Mother Nature wants us to take these bitches out. Hey, hey, I will let some dude come over and film me on the internet one time. But that shit's just uploaded on Xtube somewhere. I, I, I post that like Sunday one day if I feel like I want to be let y'all see me that sexy. I, I got on the Darth Vader mice. That's how you can tell it's me. <laughs> but you can probably recognize my titties. Everybody does. I got a extra uh, biography for my titties, show. Maybe they ought to take that shit to Cannes, you know, that film festival. Because if it is a catfish retard can make a buck off of his idea, there's a first hole. And not only does some motherfucker give them some money for a movie, they gotta drag this shit out on the MTV Beto show. Because there isn't enough dumb shit out there for us to watch. Hashtag TV makes you target. Hey, this is this one time when we first got the internet around here. I, I was in this chat room called Hungins for Hoers. And I was like, hey, all right, I'll give this a go. Cause finding fuck buds in the back of a penny saver which was proven to be a little bit tawdry for my taste. So this dude sends me a picture of his big old slab of back fat tallow walker. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll be right there. And I pull up and he said to this come on in and he'd be waiting for me. And I found out why. This some bitch is like 80 or something. It had attacked him a whole fucking hour to get to the door. I be sitting there at the door like, uh, is your big dick grandson here? He just smiled back and was fiddling with something down there in his pocket. I don't know if it's a board of cash, his wrinkly raisin cock, or a goddamn Star Trek phaser. Shit, I tied it out of there. I wasn't gonna be no statistic. I mean, if anybody's gonna teach you how to catfish, it is me, bitches. I mean, catfishing y'all for years now. <laughs> y'all thinking I 
I'm a goddamn real person. It's a mostly y'all at Eastern European idiots over there. I don't know what you got to against me, but fuck you assholes. I ain't no bigger catfish than me, and that's how I says it. Mm. Hi y'all, I'm Cindy McCain and you can catch me this fall on ABC's Nashville second season as Carrie Franklin, Juliet Barnes' childhood babysitter. I hope you will get out of me you fucking hungry bitch! Goddamn gobbledangers! Is she gone?